Oh, look at that. He almost ate me. First time I encountered this monster right here, I got swallowed. Now, it looks like that you can only pick um, one of these again. I don't know if I, you can still, I think you could pick Outlander. I was UNE, so I'm gonna stick with that for now. The, I, I wish there was more customization options for uh, for this besides um just changing the color of uh the space suit um what about this no uh, no let me change this back to i don't know black i don't know i'll keep everything the same uh, with the aliens infested holy crap my first night trying to survive I, would, I i got i got lost the first time that i started playing this it, it, it was a new ex it was a new experience playing a game like this out in space but it, we're in a moon i think we're in the moon yeah the third moon from the theseus prime day one okay so it says here that you crash land oh this oh <laughs> this can't be there for a bit you know what Let, let's have him follow me uh, still, still have to. No, not stay. What am I doing? Uh, G. Why G for follow? You, they changed the. What? They they changed the key the the command keys. Used to be E for I think follow or something. Okay, well that's still the same, and I got all. The stuff for my survival kit. So let's just take all this and put this in there. All right. So it looks like I've I've spawned into a different area of this map. I should probably go and fix my suit. All right. Now what I gotta do is find. Here we go. Find the the inflatable dome kit. There we go. All right. Now that I got that. Now. That I have that in my inventory. Oh, there's one more thing I gotta pick up. It's the ammo box. All right. So now that I picked up that, I should. You know what? I should probably equip a gun somewhere. I'll use switch this over here. I push. I uh, usually push these down towards the bottom. And then use that there and then use the pistol here i usually don't have the duct tape on me well i have it on me but it's not in one of the these slots here and then the assault rifle probably put that there too now that i got the inflatable dome kit on me it's just a matter of picking a spot where would be a good spot this looks like a good spot right over here one of the things that I've learned in the game is that if you don't have anything on you, uh, when you're running, you you run faster. You also hover faster. You can also switch views. Here you go. That's how you learn how to do that. Kind of feel like Iron Man a little bit. Why the uh, plutonium? We got plutonium off the bat here. But now, let's see... Right here, right here, right here. Mm, actually, let's go a little bit more on this side. Have the dome facing towards me and... Right, have the dome facing... Yeah, face it like, facing like that, okay. And then just hit what? key do I press to confirm it F and then just hold down the left mouse button and there we have our inflatable dome all right so now that we got that going we got to get some materials but first let's let's save progress here and then now we go out mining for some basic materials now well, we got it. What was it that we got to do first? I want to have some storage. So, 
What is it that I needed for the depository? Just iron and aluminum. Be right before I started um, thinking about doing a recording, is that I have made a lot of progress. That there we go. Oh, well, we don't need titanium. Oh, we got some geysers here too. What kind of geysers is these? Let's see. Chlorine. Oh, I don't need chlorine. Uh, so I did make a good amount of progress to a point where I I made a habitat. I made this this structure right here along with the air duct, and I was thinking of come of uh, at least making either a barracks or a biodome. But all of a sudden we had that patch, and then it wiped everything. So I. I wouldn't mind. I, I didn't make too much progress, but for me, you know, from the time that I've spent um, playing this game, um, I really enjoyed it, and I was looking forward to continuing on playing. Where am I? All right, so let's see if we could get some aluminum and some iron. The thing about this game, too, is that there's there's a lot of uh, grinding involved, or, well, you have, it's, I don't know if you call it grinding, but you have to spend a lot of time mining for resources. All right, I gotta, I gotta make sure I gotta stay away from that. Even though it'll be easy to take down, right? Easy to take down. You still level one? Are you still level one? Yeah, you still level one. Where are we? Let's see, there's gotta be some iron down there. There's gotta be some iron over here too. Oh, I hope I don't run into that long worm. Oh, I hear him coming. I hear him. Oh, there we go. Okay. Trend to skip. Where'd he go? Oh, look at that. He almost ate me. First time I encountered this monster right here, I got swallowed. Man, I'm starting to wonder if I pa pass the those resources that I need. Oh, we ran into that turtle monster thing, that tum tumbo, what do you call that? Stay away from that for now. So in the pat in the patch notes, they they've added this thing where where structures and and vessels can now be destroyed, which I I, I guess it adds an element to to the game where you have to um, keep an eye on now. At least let me find something before it turns dark. Parasite, where? Where do you see? I don't see a parasite anywhere. Wow, they hide really well in this grass, do they? Oh, I, uh, I think I see something. Those tiny little shit critters. I think I'm going in circles. Uh, this is a sandstorm. Hope nothing pops up during a sandstorm. The spawn area where I, I first played in had a lot of iron and aluminum. Enough of the stuff that I needed to make two of those depositories. I think I have footage of that. It's somewhere in my f video file. Okay, this... I, I recognize this area a little bit. Oh, uh, what? Where? Where is it? I have my crop? Here we go. Alright. So, gathering resources now. Finally found something that I need. Alright. So, here's the thing. You can mine this up with your chisel, just like this. See how easy that is. And then you can also pick, pick these up. Just like that. Just like that. Just It's not picking it up. What the hell? Well, oh, crap. You got to use... Oh, really? Oh, you can no longer pick items up with uh, with the left mouse button. It, it was more convenient that way. So you can mine, you can mine stuff, you can mine stuff up um, by using your chisel, and you could also use the pistol to shoot at the the resource, and then chunks will come out, and you can collect um, whatever comes out. Oh, this iron here too. All right, sweet. That's another thing that I need. The dust boop, boop. Whack it, whack, whack, whack. All right, so just remember, just 
keep a mental note on where I got the two resources near this this area. All right, so let's put this away and see if we can still fast travel, sorta like this. Okay, so all right, I like it. I'll deal with it for now. Let's so let, now let's go back. Spawn position is this way. Really? Is it this way? I thought it was the other direction. One of the things that I have to learn how to do that I've never made on my previous uh, playthrough. It's not really a playthrough. When I first started playing this as beacons. I had to learn how to place beacons. Where is it? Where's my... Oh, that's that beetle thing? No, that's that shell monster. Where? Oh, here it is. Okay. They made it back to my dome. All right. So according to the missions, I have to first make a forge and then from there start making something else, I suppose. That's what well, was one of the first things that, um, that I have to make. Face cam is covering the the mission thing, so I'll change uh, I'll change the position of it in the second uh, the next episode depository. As for this, ah, I need titanium. Titanium is not too far out. Oh, and also plutonium. So I really got lucky there. Let's see where I could place it. I, the last time that I started doing this, I placed this right here. I made two of them, one on each side. So I'm just going to make one for now. Maybe I should make another one, but I I don't have as much iron as I once thought I collected. I want to make the forge relatively close to the depository, so it should be somewhere around here. Oh, but I needed the plutonium and I need uh, titanium. So let's see, there's plutonium right here. So let me go over here real quick and then get this, some of this. Don't know how much I need. I'll mine up all this and see how much I end up collecting. Probably because plutonium, this stuff weighs really heavy. Let's see. Look at that. I already mound up, mound up or mined up. I, I mined it. Mined it. Almost almost 30 so this should be enough maybe it's on this side is this it right here titanium there we go see titanium where's that some more stuff why now you're following me oh and you found something thank you all right it's getting dark so because the shadows really casting around this area so l for flashlight right there should be be good, right? Right there. You... There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him follow me right here. Actually, you know what? Since there's some mining to be done nearby, I'm going to have you mine. Let's see that up over there since it's close by and you should do it relatively easy shouldn't shouldn't be difficult at all now that i've got my forge and my storage and a place to hunker down and save stuff i'm going to end the video right here everybody tell me what you guys think down in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video why don't you give it a like share and subscribe for more uh in the i don't know if in the near future i'm going to be streaming this because for me it's easier if i stream um gameplay like this or if but i'm always recording this no matter what no matter no matter what game i end up playing i end up recording all uh, that's just a matter of uh seeing if the footage is useful or not but either way let me know Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you on my next uploads. Take care.